Hey, this is Chris Martin with Free Effects Tutorials, and today I want to talk to you about extrusion here in Cinema 4D. So I've got this little cube here, and I've got my display mode turned to shading with lines, and we're just going to do a little extrusion here. So I've got my polygon tool selected. I'm going to grab my live selection tool, and let's select the cube, and we can see that we can make a selection anywhere here. So I'm just going to grab one of these and select it, right click, and click on Extrude. And then I'm going to drag in my viewport right to extrude the polygon face out. All right. So that is the most basic form of the Extrude tool. Now over here we have some options, things that we can do while we're extruding. So if we wanted to create subdivisions while we did that, we could do that right here. You can see the subdivisions being created. All right. So if I control Z that and say I want two subdivisions whenever I extrude and then I click and drag right, you can see that I have my two subdivisions here. All right. Control Z, go backwards. Now let me go ahead and turn that off and turn my sphere on. And again, this is already converted. It's made editable. So I'm going to select my polygon tool, select my live selection tool, and I'm going to come over here and grab a couple of these polygons. So now I'm going to right click. I'm going to extrude. Again, drag right and you'll see that we have each one of these polygons being extruded in the direction that the normal is facing. All right? And the reason they're being extruded this way is because we have preserve groups unchecked. So if I control Z, go back, click on preserve groups, click and drag right, you can see that these come out as one. All right? And that also has to do with this maximum angle right here. So if I control Z, uncheck this, change this to 90, then uncheck the preserve groups, you can see that they're still coming out individually. If we check that, they come together. I hope that makes sense. The bottom line on the maximum angle is that polygons not exceeding this angle to each other are kept together polygons exceeding this angle are broken apart during the extrusion. Alright, so I hope that makes sense. So let's go ahead and control Z. So if we pull the extrusion out, let's actually choose a couple of these polygons down here. I'll choose these two. And I'll do the extrusion again, right? And we can see how this is extruding out, right? So it's facing these are still going in the direction that the normal faces. Let's control Z. If we hold control down and just drag it, you can see that these are being extruded in the world Z, the negative world Z direction. All right? So that can be helpful. And let me go ahead and just show you something else real quick. Right now we have these two polygons selected. If I control click, on the points, it'll transfer that selection from the polygon to the points. All right. If I come over here and select one of these points, let's say that I wanted to flatten this out. If I select this one point, let's say that this is exactly where we want all of the other points to be. I can see that this is at minus 200 and some change. Let's just say minus 200. I'm going to Control C to copy that. And then what I'm going to do is select all of the other ones, all the other points. All right. I'm going to right click and I want to set the point value. And it's the Z. So I'll set Z to minus 200. Hit enter. And you can see that it straightens that out. All right, so that's a neat little trick, something that can come in very handy. All right, so let's go ahead and shut that down for a moment. And let's 
take a look at this plane. So let's go back into Extrude and I'm going to select the polygons. And if you have nothing selected, then that's just like everything being selected. So if I just right click and drag, let's select the plane first, right click and drag, you can see that we have this extrusion. Now if we come around here to the back and look, we can see that it basically leaves this big hole here. All right. Now there's a really cool option here in the extrude tool called create caps. If we check that and we do that same extrusion, you can see it creates a cap here for us. So it sort of closes that up. A couple more things. We can extrude not only polygons but also edges and points. So if we go into edge mode and just do UL, let's do a loop selection here. And if I want to extrude this, come down here, choose the extrude tool. And if I just click in the viewport and drag, I get this sort of weirdness happening, which that's not going to work at all. But what I can do is hold control down and drag that out like we did with the polygons, and that extrudes out just perfectly. All right, control Z. And remember the trick with the control and then click on the points and now all of our points are selected we can control drag that as well to pull those out alright so this was just a quick tutorial on how to use the extrude tool here in Cinema 4D I'm Chris Martin with Free Effects Tutorials I hope you found that helpful